appreciate everybody taking some time out of your busy schedule to join us today. I uh, also appreciate if you stop by our booth at the recent community summit last week to check out our Dynamics EC and GP integrations. As Megan mentioned, uh, my name is Chris Fletner. I'm a sales rep for V Technologies. And today we're going to take you through a brief PowerPoint, talk about the value of the integration that we've developed for Dynamics, and show you that in action with a brief demo. If you have any questions, uh, towards the end of the presentation, there will be a period where you can ask questions. You can also feel free to enter those into the chat window. A little bit about V Technologies. Uh, the company was founded in the late 80s, so over 30 years of developing integrated shipping solutions, first with uh, the parcel carriers, and we've built that out uh, since to support uh, over 25 different uh, parcel and freight carriers. The relationship with, uh, with GP actually goes back to the early 90s. So it's a Great Plains Accounting. We've been working with the Microsoft product uh, since the early 2000s, once they bought Dynamics. Uh, have uh, also worked with AX and NAV previously, and now are offering uh, the 365 Business Central integration as a direct interface that's available from the technologies. Uh, there's currently over 10,000 uh, customers uh, that use our uh, shipping integration tools to help streamline their workflow and process and make shipping hopefully a, a profit center. Taking a look at the agenda for today, a couple of uh, key features that we want to touch on. As I mentioned, the uh, 365 Business Central and uh, GP integrations. Starship offers you plug and play out of the box integration. So basically, you're just pointed at your data source, and Starship knows exactly where to find the data within the ERP. And that has a bi directional interface where it'll take information from the shipment and push that back into the order or invoice. So you have it there for the front office and speed up your invoicing process. Starship is a multi-carrier platform, carrier agnostic. So you can do a side-by-side -side comparison of all your different methods of transportation. Also has the ability to automate carrier selection with best way shipping rules. So some powerful logic that can be added to the carrier selection process if you want to take that decision out of the hands of the operator. We offer a redesigned robust dashboard that's browser-based and gives the entire front office access to the details of the shipping history, what's going on out in the warehouse without having to bug somebody and knock them off the terminal or go dig around in a file. You have all that information at your fingertips by being able to track by the order, the PO, the invoice, the customer ID, and easily find the record with more details within Starship. We also offer some additional enhanced functionality around EDI, Hazmat, and International. Starship will take any commodity-based uh, shipments and streamline that process for you by matching the products up to that commodity detail that lives in Starship if it's not in the inventory in BC or GP. Uh, so things like the UNID and proper shipping name, packaging for Hazmat, um, working with trading partners and EDI shipments to produce the 128 compliance labels and any other carrier or excuse me uh, training partner paperwork such as uh, packing lists bills of lading that need to be branded also streamlining your international process by automatically triggering paperwork to print such as the commercial invoice the mexico canada pa paperwork u.s certificate of origin shipper's letter of instruction and filling in commodity details uh, like the Schedule B code and whether or not you have to file for an ITN number with ACE. We have all those hooks available as standard features with the integration. Finally, the ability to manage your delivery expectations. So we're proactively giving you tools to notify your customers when the shipment leaves your dock. You can also include any kind of branding information in there, links to your shopping carts, your website, any kind of promotional material you want to send as attachments to drive repeat business. This slide, you'll see a number of carriers that you may recognize. Uh, as I mentioned, Starship's been supporting uh, parcel shipping since the late 80s, and we've built on that relationship uh, to expand the integration to other regional carriers, such as um, OnTrack on the West Coast or Speedy in the Midwest. 
Uh, there's also a user-defined option that can be used for local uh, courier services or will call pickups. On the freight side, we have uh, over 20 different uh, common carriers with direct integration options. We also have relationships with a number of different 3PLs or third-party logistics companies, such as CH Robinson, Freight Quotes, and Worldwide Express. That offers you a whole other suite of services in addition to the direct carrier integrations. Starship also has access to a TMS with uh, the Freight View integration that opens up uh, potentially 75 to 80 other 3PLs and carriers. So quite a few different options there. We also have leveraged our integration with EasyPost to expand integration and uh, support for our neighbors to the north in Canada. You'll see some names here you may recognize, Canada Post, Canpar, and Purolator. All three of those Canadian-based carriers are now available in addition to UPS and FedEx support in Canada. If there's a particular carrier that you're working with that you don't see listed here, feel free to contact either myself or your account manager at VTech and we'd be happy to take your feedback. We're always looking for uh, where we should take the product next in terms of uh, carrier support. Starship also offers, in addition to the ERP integrations, a number of e-commerce solutions as well. We started uh, with Amazon and eBay uh, quite some time ago and have since fleshed that out to include over a dozen different e-commerce solutions, both marketplaces and shopping carts. And again, if there's a name that you're using here that you don't see uh, that you're currently using, feel free to pass that feedback along. We're always looking for other ways to expand the e-commerce options as well. With e-commerce, Starship has the ability to ship directly against your marketplace or cart orders. So we can fulfill those against the, uh, the cart transaction. More commonly with Dynamics, we're pulling that information out of the ERP, fulfilling the order, and then we'll hit uh, both the ERP and the e-commerce uh, marketplace or cart with the fulfillment status, all the shipment detail, freight tracking, all that good information. All right, with that, let's switch on over to a product demo and I'll take you through this here in real time. So here's a look at our newly redesigned user interface. Uh, everything is browser-based now with Starship. You also have a cloud or multi-tenant solution available to you uh, besides just the perpetual license. So you have the ability to have Starship hosted for you in the cloud with an all-in solution, one single price point for support, service, and maintenance, and can be quickly deployed and accessed in the cloud. That's just by using a browser. With Business Central, uh, we're working off of uh, orders, invoices, or order lines. Uh, so you have the ability to, to ship against different types of transactions at different stages of your workflow, or you can also just access the customer records directly here. Typically, you're gonna enter or scan a record into Starship here. So if you have a barcode, you can scan that in. Starship will go grab the record. You have this view of all of your pending transactions here. So once an order has been released in Business Central, that becomes available to ship against here. All these fields can be sorted on in the columns here, similar to Excel. Or you also have filters where you can drill down into a subset of data. So we'll go ahead and select the record and get started shipping. We'll connect over to BC, bring in all of the uh, address information, the order header information. We'll populate that here. You'll see a number of widgets here where you can expand the view by clicking on the pencil icon. That'll show you some additional data here. And you can also customize the view with whichever fields you want to display on screen. Carrier and service will be translated from your ship via your agent in BC. You can always override that here. You can also bring in collect or third party billing as well. All of your product information will flow through as well. And that could be packed up here on the Starship screen. 
You also have a database of all your different common box types, so you can store that here, including the length, width, and height, so we can compare the actual weight versus the build weight. And whichever the, the higher of the two is, that's what the carrier will assess the rates on. Your rates we're gonna go and grab from the carrier in real time. And you can drill down into the rates here to see exactly how we arrived at that price. There's also rate shopping available. So you can have Starship automatically select the rate or the user can pick that here. There's also a rate quote utility, which is available to calculate rates, or excuse me, calculate freight rates um, on the front end. So if you have folks in customer service, accounting, sales that need to calculate the freight before it goes out to shipping, you have access to that with the rate quote as well. We'll go ahead and leave it with UPS, but you can see there's potentially other services that we can get it there by. It'll break these out from the least cost down to the most expensive, as well as the ability to sort on transit time. If it's more of a time sensitive shipment, you can also bring in a date and a time here when it needs to be there by, and Starship will filter out all the results. So we're gonna go ahead and award the business to UPS. I'll process the shipment here. With that, we're going to um, print out our labels, our documents, See just a quick preview of a label here. And we'll feed that data back into Business Central so you have it there for customer service. Let's take a look at that transaction. Starship will enter the freight um, as the uh, line item here on the sales transaction. If we were to send this with a different carrier, we also have uh, backwards value translations where it can change this to car the carrier to say FedEx or USPS and the service level as well. The tracking number will go into uh, the package tracking field here in the order header. Starship also has a widget which will give you additional fields that you can add into the BC order header. We have these notes here. So you can customize the notes to have whatever level of detail you're looking for within Business Central. We'll give you some basic information about when it went out, when it's going to get there, the piece count, and then the contents of the shipment. We also have these user-defined fields here, so we can track additional amounts on the freight. Uh, you can add as many different user-defined fields here and map that data back easily into BC. So here I just have, you know, my cost and whatever the list price is. So if we want to do some reconciliation, see exactly uh, what our profit margin is versus what we're charging the customer. We have easy access to that information here. We'll also give you a link into our dashboard. So if there's some additional details that you're looking for uh, that are not contained within BC, you can easily click on this here from any of the inquiry screens. And Starship will bring you right to that record. Try that again. It looks like I wasn't logged in. Okay. With that, it's going to bring you to the historical view of that shipment. This is the one we just processed. You can see the freight here. You can see the tracking information. You can reprint labels or documents and see exactly how things were packed out. Tracking will also be available here. You'll be able to see point by point tracking. So on a live shipment, you'll have, you know, as it makes its way from your dock to the ultimate destination, you'll see where it is while it's in transit. We also have an exception report that can flag any discrepancies. So anything like late deliveries or if it's delayed while it's in transit will come up on that report up until the point that it's signed for and delivered. Some other cool things that you can do with the dashboard. You have a number of uh, crystal reports built in. Also your email history will be here. You have these widgets with some predefined sorts that look at your freight spend over a period of time. So you can kind of identify trends in shipping, see where product's going to. You also have this heat map here, which shows you exactly um, where your products are being sent to. And then your history can be searched here as well. So if you're not uh, invoking that screen from within the BC environment, uh, you have the ability here to do a query and you can search on any of the fields in our database. So any of the ERP data that you may wanna look up by, the order, PO, invoice, customer ID, address fields, any of that stuff can be searched, easily find the shipment, and then call it up here in the dashboard.
that's just an extension of what uh, Star Starship's offering to you for your front office. You also have the emails that I mentioned. So Starship has the ability to print branded emails that could include your logo or graphics. You also have total control over the, uh, the, color, the colors and the formatting. You have the template customizer here that gives you the ability to add any uh, additional fields that you want to the body of the email. You could also start with a blank page and plug in any data that you're looking for here. Graphics or logos, tables, links, colors for both the fonts and the background. So this can match your branding uh, for your website and for the look and feel of uh, how you're presenting your product and your company. You can also have attachments here. And that could be a static attachment, like a catalog or a piece of literature, or any of the shipping documents that Starship produces. You have the ability to um, pull those in from the shipment and automatically send those out as attachments to your customers. So a copy of a packing list, a bill of lading, export documentation, any of the documents that Starship produces, we can PDF those and automatically send that out with the notifications that go out to your customer. Take a quick look at some of those here. With Starship, uh, as I mentioned, we have the ability to ship freight. You have the, uh, the option here of uh, getting bills of lading directly from the carriers. So you have the different formats of documents. Our Starship has its own templates built in as well. You have a straight bill of lading, a VIX, a master BOL, so it's a hazardous bill of lading as well. And then also all of your export documents as well can be automated. Commercial invoice, U.S. Certificate of Origin, the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement, and also the shipper's letter of instruction. If you're using um, a broker or uh, any third parties that are involved with the transport of your goods overseas, uh, Starship has the SLI to send them the manifest of all those goods. As I mentioned, there's a powerful set of rules in Starship that can be used to modify um, the uh, amount of freight that's being passed on to the carrier or to your customer, as well as calculate your cost and also route the shipment. So you have freight rules here that can be configured to add any kind of handling, discounts, markups, it's wizard based, so it'll step you through the process, no programming. You also have the same sort of wizard based rules for the ship via. These can be used to set some basic preferences, disable specific services, or when you want Starship to make the selection for you, to switch the carrier based on some criteria, the weight, the size, the lane, or you have rate shopping scenarios that can be defined based on certain circumstances to automatically select the carrier. Thanks everybody for uh, your interest in Starship and uh, taking a little time out of your day to join us today. Feel free to uh, hit me up if you have any questions and we're happy to visit with you and spend a little time to find out if Starship might be the right fit for you.